Hey, what's new? Well, this is new. It's an Apple Arcade Search, a new web tool brought to you by Photix.com. I was perusing the Apple Arcade subreddit on Reddit.com when I noticed that lots of people were unhappy with the search function for Apple Arcade. There are over 200 games for Apple Arcade, but it's not always so easy to find them. So, this looks like another opportunity for the Heroic Tech Support series of videos on Photix TV, as this is a solvable problem. While working on the top Apple Arcades game video, which was launched earlier this year, I created a list of Apple Arcade games. It was quite tedious. So, this new project, the Apple Arcade Search, was an opportunity to take advantage of that hard work. That's where the Table Press plugin enters the picture. This WordPress addition makes it easy to display dynamic tables. There was a bit of formatting to make the table look pretty, especially in dark mode, but it wasn't too bad. Anyway, how does it work? Basically, you can sort the table by clicking one of the columns in the header. By default, the table is sorted by the newest games first even the ones not released yet. I suspect Warped Kart Racers might be a popular Apple Arcade game. Today, Goat Simulator Plus launched, but it's not available on all Apple platforms. So, I still have some more work to do, as the list is not fully updated. Fortunately, there's a nice interface on the admin side. So keeping this information updated, it shouldn't be too bad. A few minutes a week should be plenty of time. Also, since it's literally called Apple Arcade Search, there's a field for searching the data. What's really nice about this is that it searches all of the columns. So, if you wanted a list of all games that were released this year, just put 2022 in the search field. If you wanted a list of all games by Sega, just type the name Sega in the search field. Boom! There are two Sega games. Searching by category is nice too. You can type the word racing to see all of the racing games. If you see something that you like, the game's name is a clickable hyperlink. To save space, some of the fields have emoji as column names. The calendar emoji is for the game's release date. The baby icon is for the minimum recommended age to play the game. The person icon is for the number of players. Well, look at that. Butter Royale is at the top spot, with up to 16 players. Nice. The last column is the file size of the app. I'm considering replacing this column, though. I'm thinking a list of supported devices is more useful. Going back to Goat Simulator Plus, that game is not available on Mac or Apple TV. Adding supported devices data is a lot of work, though. So, the next part is up to you. If this tool is popular, then it's more likely to get updated. So, you can leave a comment to show your appreciation. You could also subscribe to Photix TV. While it is a general tech channel, videos about Apple Arcade games frequently appear. Hopefully, this information helps you. Thanks for watching.